All right, friends, in studio with us, a second time guest, but it's been a long time. Uh, so great to have you in studio with us. Chris Ryerson, Valley Radon. How are you today, sir? Quite excellent. Thanks for having me back, Eric. Uh, your voice is suave and, and smooth. It's a radio voice. That's a, a beautiful start to the morning. And I've never smoked cigarettes. Oh, really? Uh, so you're like the Marlboro man. I can't even say that word, Marlboro. It's difficult. I I, I've never either. smoked either. Causes lung cancer, though. <laughs> it does. What a segue. <laughs> uh, boy, speaking of lung cancer, let's talk radon. Uh, okay. Right. Uh, I, I like the tie in that you're doing here. Uh, I think that most people, Chris, are naive to radon. Uh, even some realtors uh, probably don't understand uh, the pressing issue that it is. So give us the Surgeon General's warning, if you may. Oh, that's the gauntlet has been put down. The that's Surgeon right. General recommends that uh, if you have a, a house in North Dakota or Minnesota, we're in a, a zone one, as they classify it, and they recommend that all houses be tested. Specifically, tested for radon. For radon, yep, okay. yep, for radon in your house. Specifically, as you go into a contract with a sale for for a home through a realtor, uh, quite often you're going to end up having it requested that you have a radon test in the house. Um, it's my recommendation that you have a, a certified home inspector do the test because mm -hmm. they follow all the EPA protocols that are recommended for an accurate test. Okay. So what is radon? Uh, I know what it is, but I'm going to play naive here. And uh, I'm going to actually try to educate myself a little bit more because every time I hear somebody talk about it, that's an expert like yourself, I learn a little bit more. So what is radon, Chris? Radon is uh, part of the uh, elemental breakdown of uranium, which is in our heavy clay soil. It stays an element for 3.8 days. It's inert itself. It does not cause lung cancer. But what happens when radon is floating around in your house, it splits into its next half-life and emits uh, radiation. Mm. And if it's in your lungs, it can cause damage to the lung tissue. Now, radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer in the United States. Is that right? That's correct. So, of course, we, we let off with uh, a, a joke about smoking uh, with that being the largest. But here we have radon as the number two uh, leading indicator for lung cancer. That's correct. And it's super potent here in, in the Red River Valley. It is. It is super potent. In fact, we're when soil becomes more saturated with moisture, clay soil like what we have, we will notice an increase in radon levels in the house. And a lot of realtors this year specifically going back into last year have been commenting, why is this house testing high? I sold it five years ago. There mm -hmm. was no radon. Mm -hmm. And that's indicative of soil moisture. So I would recommend people consider testing their house, even if they had a test on five years ago and it was low. Uh, so even like... There's, there's two different types of houses. There's going to be those houses that have the basements that are not livable or they don't have basements. And then there's the other kind of house that is a, a finished basement. There's bedrooms down there, that sort of thing. Uh, is it imperative that you test both kinds of houses, Chris? Um, I would say, let me, ref let me redefine that. Both types of houses, irregardless of the level or the degree that they're finished off in the basement are going to have the potential for inequality of radon. Okay. So the finishing of the house is not going to make a differentiation. Um, the age of the house, the size of the house, how tightly built the house is, the atmospheric conditions, and there's several other parameters that affect the level of radon. But the finished product um, will not make a difference in the radon coming into the house itself. Okay. Uh, main level versus basement. Do we have different radon levels? Yes, we do. Okay. Usually it's cut in half unless there's an HVAC system, um, a furnace with ducted heat, ducted mm -hmm. air. Then it's equally dispersed throughout the house. Ah, and that's most houses, really. That uh, is most at houses. At least most houses built after probably 1950 or so. That's correct. Uh, so you're going to have radon levels on the, on the main level, the same as you are in the basement. So even if you have an unfinished basement, uh, that you aren't living down there, if you have a gas forced air or duct system, you're telling me that the radon levels on the main level or upstairs are the same as in the basement. That's correct. That's, that's a big deal. I didn't know that actually. Uh, I told you I'd learned something today. Yep. yep. <laughs> so now we find ourselves, uh, talking about homeowners, uh, that, uh, could possibly be looking to sell or you're looking to buy. And you of course want to test. What about those people that, uh, that own and aren't moving anywhere? Should they test their house? I, I would test your house. Um, the state of North Dakota and many counties in the state of Minnesota have free radon test kits. They usually run out of them. So you need to make a phone call to the specific health department for okay. whatever county you live in. Um, they will give 
a free test kit once a year. So I would get online and Google radon and type in your county mm -hmm. uh, health department name, and you'll typically be able to get a, a free test device from them. And how accurate is that? Very accurate if you indicate accurately the start time and date and the finish time and date. Okay, so you can't just kind of uh, fake your way through it. You have to be able to follow the rules and enter everything in accordingly. That's correct. Okay. Now, what, what's the benefit then of having a certified home inspector do the test? Uh, the benefit is they follow all the testing protocols that the EPA has established. And that's important because if you place the radon test improperly in some locations, you can have the opportunity for an amplified radon reading. Okay. Uh, so an amplified radon reading, I think... As we're talking here, and folks, if you're listening, whether you are looking to sell or buy, or even if you're in a home and you're even renting, uh, radon with long-term exposure could have some serious damage to your lungs. And so uh, I believe, Chris, you're recommending to test your house, whether you're selling or not, and you can do so for free. Uh, mm -hmm. But it's a big deal when it comes to real estate transactions, when people are buying and selling. Yes. So let's, uh, I want to transition there for just a moment, Chris. Uh, let's say I hire a home inspector to test for radon because I'm buying the house. I have made the offer. It's accepted. Uh, a home inspection usually is about 375 bucks. How much is additional to do a radon test? Do you know? Yeah, yes, I, I've uh, observed it varies anywhere from 120 to $200. Okay, but it, it's done by a professional. It's done at the same time as your home inspection. And then we find ourselves uh, almost more times than not now with houses uh, that are above four, is it percoliters? Am I saying that right? No, pico carries per liter. Pico carries per liter. See, you just combine the words and that's all you have to do. Uh, it's going to be great. Uh, pico carries per liter. Did I say that right? Yes. Three okay. times real fast. Thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> and so uh, if, if you're above four for your radon test, the EPA r recommends mitigation, right? Yes, they do. Yep. That, that number um, was determined from oncological cancer studies, mm -hmm. that that is where the inference of lung cancer starts at four picocaries per liter. It doesn't okay. start at zero. It starts at four picocaries per, per liter. Okay. And so again, whether the basement is finished or not, or you're living there or not, if you have gas forced air or duct work in the house, it matters a lot. Correct. Uh, and so let's say somebody decides in their home inspection, or they just do a test uh, on their house as it is, uh, and radon levels are above four. Mitigation should be done, right? Correct. Okay, yes. and what does mitigation look like? How long does that take? What is mitigation, uh, like what's the process for it and a rough expense? Um, mitigation systems typically take a day unless there's a crawl space involved and then it typically takes two to three days. Uh, typical expenses are between thirteen and $1,500. Mm -hmm. um, basically, it's, it's a, a, a ventilation system that gets applied to the sump pit if there is one or if there's not a sump pit a core hole will be done on the floor of the uh, okay. of the basement. And it, it allows for a vacuum, a slight vacuum to be applied to the soil and it grabs the radon from the soil and it vents it to the outside. Okay. Uh, and so this is natural for you. You're doing, uh, you're doing these every day now uh, as the go-to guy. And you've been my go-to guy, especially when we've been doing our snap offers and we've had some houses that we've mitigated. Uh, I love having a great working relationship with somebody that I can trust and somebody that is massively responsible on this. So thank you for being a great partner in it. Thank you. Uh, so Valley Radon is who you represent. If people are interested in getting a test, they can get it for free, or they can, of course, probably hire you or a certified home inspector, correct? Only a certified home inspector. Okay. But you're there on the mitigation side of things. Correct. So how can people get in contact with you? They can either go online and find me at uh, chris at valleyradon.com, uh, or they can just give me a call at 701-866-8901. You the man, Chris, with Valley Radon. We appreciate you being in the studio. Folks, we're going to head to break. Swing over to HatchRealty.com to see some houses that are listed. This is Real Estate Radio with Eric Hatch.